Yo guys, what is going on today? It is Mark here, and I'm bringing you another Zetsu no Shima gameplay. Um, actually a tutorial, not a gameplay. I'm so used to saying that. But anyways, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the special weapon, special ability weapon here in the zombies map. So first off, we're just going to get right into it. You're going to want to head over to the right of spawn, and there's going to be a pillar in spawn. There's actually four pillars around the map, and you're going to want to look at the symbols on each pillar and you're going to want to match them up with the skull at the altar place, the right of spawn. And you're going to want to pick up that skull and take it to the altar. And the first time I did this, you know, we messed up the ritual here. And if that happens, you have to wait around if you don't complete the ritual. Um, you'll have to wait around for the skull to, like, reappear in its spot on the altar. And you just do it again. But um, I'm going to show you guys one time where we do fail it and that's going to be right here and then one time where we complete it, which will be the next one and then i'm going to show you the four locations so there are four locations in order to do this and it's really not that difficult we just, i just didn't have a weapon it was kind of like round one round two or whatever it was but anyways there are four locations one is right in the spawn room and you can see it right here and the second one there is no specific order if I say that. So when I say second one, there's no specific order that you have to do these in. But the second one that we did was to the left of spawn by the A laboratory, right on the outside of it. And that one is the one we did secondly. The third one we did, or the third location that you can do, is in the laboratory in the back of the bunker. So it's in the very back of the downstairs by where you build the wonder weapon. And this one took us a while to find. It was pretty well hidden. You know, we found three of them this one took us a while to find so that is number three number four is going to be right outside of power and there's two ways you can get there one way is you can buy the door right beside power which i believe that you well you don't have to do it anyways but the second way is you can zip line off of the a power station up by where you can grab the bucket so there are two ways to get there one right side right outside of power and I believe that there was like 1500 and zip lining is only like 250 so if you don't have a lot of points you can always just zip line down there and zip line back up but after you get all these done and these are all going to be on screen right here and then I'm going to cut out and I'll be back here in a second but once you get all these done you're just going to take them back and place them onto the altar and the skull should appear white whenever you get all these done so once we get all those done and find all the locations I'll see you guys in a second Alrighty guys, now once you have all four rituals done, you go back, and once they are all placed down on the altar, the this like large tree next to the altar is going to be lifted up, and the secret room is going to be open. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head down into this room, and there's going to be another altar with a skull already there in the middle, and what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to go up to it and activate it, press square, and like... This crazy, you know, thing is going to happen. All these gatekeepers are going to spawn in around you. And what you're going to want to do is kill them and collect their souls. I actually did die the first time when we were doing this because we were, like, so unprepared for it. But, yeah, if you just do the ritual, kill all the gatekeepers around it, you will have completed the, um, you know, obtaining the specialist weapon. So once you grab this specialist weapon is really good. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of gameplay at the end of this. Um, sorry about the no volume. It, uh, it happens whenever I, like, record with my headset on for some reason. I don't know why. I'm trying to fix that. But anyways, guys, yeah, this uh, specialist weapon is really good. It's really OP, and I believe that it's one of the best ones we've had yet compared to the sword and the um, uh, gravity spikes. I can't think of it for a second. But anyways, guys, hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you guys found this useful. I'm going to be grinding, probably live streaming a little bit more, even though I am going to be gone the next couple of days. Um, I'm trying to get out a few more videos for you guys, but I hope you guys did enjoy. I found this useful. If you guys would like to see anything else or having trouble with anything, let me know, and I will try to get out that tutorial for you too. But anyways, guys, hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.